three, two, one. Good morning, afternoon, or evening. Welcome to Idiot Blog 285. Today, we're listening to a mix by Todd Gosford. That's T O D D G A S P A R D. You can find him at BandLab at bandlab.com backslash ODD69. And that's X I S I X T Y N I N E. Odd 69 spelt out of Lafayette, Louisiana. His slogan is I party like it's 2018. Got a killer beard going on there. Checking out the, the profile. And what we've done is we've gone into his collections. And his collection called My Favorite Band Lab Mix. It starts out with Mari. Uh, and the track Mari H. and Todd Gospert. I believe I'm saying that right. November Swing Bop Mix. Excuse me, the hiccups. But you can find Mari, or Mary, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, at M-A-R-I-H 2017. <coughs> Banlab.com backslash M-A-R-I-H 2017. So we're going to play through this list directly from this list and create the blog directly from this list. Now, I know my songs have been added to lists before, but I've never seen a notification that my song was added to another person's list until today. And today I saw that on Todd Go Gosford or Gasford's mix. So Todd's mix here, we'll just call him Todd from now on. Informal out, informalities aside, let's get a little more formal. Todd, thanks for the mix. Thanks for the collection. If you're watching, I appreciate it. I see I'm in it. More wicked than wicked. Name came from more human than human, but it said it's uh, wicked than wicked. I don't know if you've ever heard that term. There's also a white zombie song called More Human Than Human. I believe it's a horror flick. So, there are a wide variety of artists on here. We're going to get to browse through. What am I doing? I'm preparing 11 herbs and spices so I can whoa, so I can fling them about the place that was everywhere that went everywhere guys it wasn't a lot but it was like a light dusting a little bit everywhere but a little bit of that all over your studio all right next track is choke artist is Mitchell Harrington Bring that volume down. It's loud music today. And Mitchell Harrington can be found at Downhill underscore Kuka Beats, which is K Kuta Beats, which is K U T A B A B E A T S. So Downhill underscore Kuta Beats. And you're looking for Mitchell Harrington, and that's Mitchell with one L. Choke is the name of the track. Yeah, I like it. It could be industrial if I if I took, got a hold of it. If I forked around with it. Let me pull it up in a separate 
new tab and see if the song is forkable. I see it's not. Drop a like. It's, it is industrial, but I mean, I think I can get it really industrial. I guess I wasn't hearing all the elements fully in the beginning. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Doesn't need me. I'm wrong. Oh, that's a cool track. Yeah, go check out Michael Harrington. Damn, this blog is going to be crazy. There's going to be, every song is going to be a new artist. What I'm doing is I'm uh, taking 11 herbs and spices from, uh, from a paper cone. And down into my pipe. Let me show you this really cool herbs and spices pipe. There's a little stem in there I'm pulling out. So I got the cheap 11 herbs and spices blend. Check out this pipe. This is for medicinal purposes. Legal medicinal purposes. But check out this pipe. Goes the six minute mark. But check it out, guys. Can't show you all the spices that are in there, but the, the it's a huge, bigger than my thumb size hole. And it goes in about that deep. This is a big old one. And you see the carb is huge. So you can take those 11 herbs and spices in immediately in a draw right to the right to the chest right to the dome you don't want to choke on it though you do want to choke a little bit like a cough 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 up some purple clouds Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, this track is called Purple Clouds by Megatron. You can find Megatron at Megatron underscore Cybertron. Before I forget, I gotta do something real quick. Hopefully this works. Fail if I don't. <clears throat> All right. Gotta go into my account. Go to Zell and send my wife some money. Don't look at my password, guys. Don't look at my password. Did you guys, you guys didn't see my password, did you? All right. I'm gonna send her all of my money. There we go. Damn, it's getting intense. Megatron, bringing it. All right, sending it. Sending the love. 
the money. Send in the money. There it goes. My to my wife. You can't even hear me because this track is so damn intense. Wow. Wow, this is a loud, powerful track. Purple Clouds. I feel like I featured it before, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that was a track by Purple Lex. This is just so intense. It makes me want to rip off my shirt. This isn't even a shirt, guys. It's a jacket. And I'm not wearing a shirt. Because <laughs> this is my house. This is the Burns house. And I can do whatever the hell I want in my house. I can run around naked. I should not do that, because it's disgusting. You guys got stuff like this in your house? I don't know if you can see what it is, but that's my graduation tassel. A graduation tassel, when I got it, I was like looking at it and looking at my dad's and thinking to myself, God, they got cheap with shit lately. Gosh, it's just like a cheap version of the stuff you get from Trophy Day after playing in Little League. It's just, I mean, the craftsmanship is just not awesome, let alone the quality of materials. And over time, I'm always pressing down this kind of the sticker. It shouldn't be a sticker. It should be the 2000 sticker. And then, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it should be the 2000 and then a heaping amount of sealant, like chemical sealant that dries on there, not just a sticker. So, yeah, shit's get, shit gets hokey pokey. You know, the, the quality of the of the products that we make right here even in the US and all over the world is just going down. It's just going down. One of my favorite uh, YouTube channels I want to recommend to you guys uh, is AVE. That's a really simple thing to look up. A, the letter. V, as it's capital V, and a little E. And then you'll find the guy, I think it's like a little blue flame, but uh, you'll go, and he's a Canadian guy, and he's taken apart uh, all kinds of devices and, and all kinds of stuff. And uh, the whole point of his uh, taking apart things is to see how they work, see how they chooch, if you will, he says. And uh, he's got a lot of funny uh, puns and isms that he's always saying during the show. Uh, he's a real blast to watch. Um, man, this Purple Clouds track, what a journey. It's at 6 minutes and 53 seconds. Wow. It's kind of reminding me of uh, Paul Oakenfold track. I used to listen to on an album called Transport, I believe it's called, or Transporter. Anybody know who Paul Oakenfold is? Hey, does anybody know who Paul Oakenfold is? Let me know if you know who Paul Oakenfold is. When I uh, first came on here, there was this user, his name is Nick Robb, and I, and I saw his user name was Oaken. And that's the original reason I started up a conversation with him, and I was like, "Yeah, man, is that uh, is that after that artist Paul Oakenfold?" And he said uh, to me that it was it had to do with uh, some nickname had to do with uh, him for me as a kid. I won't go into. I'm not going to go into a bunch of details. Um, random conversation. That guy's blocked me, so. Not gonna share a bunch of stuff about him. <clears throat> uh, 
See, I had a, a recent feature, Dantastic1, user Dantastic1, uh, Dansaurus, and he has a pretty cool YouTube here. Um, I uh, was blocked by him after featuring him on the blog. Uh, I, I did reach out to him from Idiot Books and say, hey, yeah, uh, just wondering if I uh, did anything to offend you or if uh, maybe you didn't like that I shared your music the way I did. Go ahead and let me know because uh, I'm cool and, and if you want, I'll even take down, you know, and repost it differently if you need me to. Just reaching out, you know, like maybe he wanted his section of the blog deleted. I'll do that, you know. If a guy's like, you know, if that's what it takes to become, like, cool with him again or something, you know. I'm not going to do that just because he's mad. Do that. You better do that. It's not like we're going to, I don't want anything to do with you. You're a piece of shit. Well, then no. But if the guy's like, yeah, I did. I really liked you and I liked your music, but then you did that and it kind of bugged me. And so I feel like I had the block you so you didn't do it again. I'll be like, my bad. I won't do that again. Uh, but then again, also, my rule is kind of, you know, you don't like what I do. You just block me. And that's cool. At the same time as I reach out, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to be cool, I'm trying to be soft about it. Uh, and by the way, that last track was called Chill Pop by JD. Uh, and that, uh, that was uh, posted by DJ Chili Pop. You can find him at bandlab.com backslash Chili Pop. Or Chill Pop, sorry, Chill Pop. I'm saying his name is DJ Chili Pop. His name is DJ Chill Pop. I just can't read that far away. Yeah, DJ Chill Pop out of Blackpool, United Kingdom. Chill Pop by JD. This is more wicked than wicked. Uh, this whole uh, um, Frank of Ages track uh, was kind of like a tribute to um, the art of Frank Franzetta and the art of Glenn Danzig and the Danzig Band. Especially a tribute to their first album and the artistic nature of the band at around that time. Just before and just after. It was a tribute to it and incorporating my loves and likes from all around the music and my own musical style. Uh, can't really say I was doing much other than that. That is what I had in my head when I was doing the work. You know? Pretty cool. That's pretty cool of you. Thank you for featuring this track and a list of such intense tracks. I'm already looking down the list. I can see what's ahead. You guys cannot. I can see the future. So, guys, how's your week? It's hump day, as they say. This next track is The Sun Shines All Night. It's by Wordsta. He's got one of the really cool images. That you, one of those images where you're like, you can't, you can't kind of kind of can't look away. You try to look at, you know, try and looking at the image and try and see what perspective, what part of the face is, is. It's like this thing where like you're looking at a silhouette cut out that looks like it's looking straight at you but has the silhouette 
of the of it. so it's like it's looking like this or this both you can't tell I've seen a couple of other images like this but he his image is really cool that it that it's like this yeah the sun shines all night by wordsta Yeah, I had this thought earlier. I was thinking, maybe I could just do Christmas songs. And then after I do Christmas songs, I could, while I'm doing them, you know, if I am doing any other kind of music, keep it private. Then re-release every song I made and released this year again in this month it's a crazy idea I was having but it could be fun could be fun could be like a one day is all killer killer next day is like every and then the next day is and you just you just post all of something and all of something every day you do like a whole band. I don't even know. Maybe you just go through and, and you do 12 days and each day is like a whole month. And I just go back to that month and I do the whole month and then back to that month, do the whole month. It would be 11, I guess. I wouldn't repost this month again in this month. So 11 days, one month per day. It's like six hours of music some of those months. Some of them are like three, some of them are like six. That's just an idea I had. But it sounds like a fucking fun one. And then on the last day of the contest, I could put them all in the contest. I, I, I don't know if that's even worth the time it would take to go through and change the tags on every single one of them a second time. Oh. I don't even know if it'd be worth it to try and post any kind of anything in the tags. Aside from the contest. Just type in, you know, whatever the contest is that's going in. You know, whatever. Freaking, it's not 1111 this month. What is it? Fall, fall out? Fork me, fork me in the butt? What's the contest this month, guys? You know what I mean? Put it in one of the songs. What's it called? Maestro? Yeah. Maestro. What else? Oh, Farewell. That's not Fork Me. That's called Farewell. <laughs> farewell! <laughs> to the year? What are, you ta what are you talking about on that? I don't know. Ooh! One of my favorites. Woo! Damn. Hell yeah, this is a good mix. You separate the facts from None over one. This has already been recently featured on the blog. All good, guys. All good. It's down cloud. So I think... I think a couple of his cool tracks were featured recently. Why win or lose if you lose 
Pretty cool. It's from July 12th. I really do love this, this musician, artist, lyricist. Um, I can't get over. I can't get over some of the stuff he does. Got it again. Captured the high. Captured the moment. seen one of these? What is it, Chris? Tell us. Tell us what it is, Chris. We want to know. This right here is called a caliper. Oh, a caliper, Chris? What is it? What's it used for? Well, <coughs> what it's used for <coughs> is you get the jaws all the way closed and you set it to zero. And then you get something out like a guitar pick or something, right? And you capture the jaws down onto the guitar pick and it will tell you how thick in millimeters it is. And it says, what's it say there? 0.97. And let's look at what it's labeled. It's labeled as a 1.0. Interesting. Let's see Dunlap. Let's see how accurate Dunlap is. So a caliper, what is it? It's uh, basically um, it's basically a tool that's used to measure um, diameters and lengths uh, for precision machining, usually. Let's see this one is 1.00. There you go. Pretty good job on that one. That's a Clayton pick. Let's see Dunlap. Let's get two Dunlap offerings. Dunlap, Dunlap. There we go. We got a yellow and a and a green. James Hatfield, Dave Mustaine. So Dave Mustaine's got what? Point seven three. Totally accurate. And this one, see now this is accurate because it says 0.85. Let's zero it. Double check. 0.83. And they're supposed to be 0.88, I believe. So, let me look. Yeah, 0.88. So these are 0.83. And this one is supposed to be 0.73, and it is 0.73. So maybe I got fakes. I've been hearing about counterfeiting. I don't know if you guys have heard about it. Counterfeiting trickling into almost every single type of product in the market. Name a product. Think of a product. Just Let me just start grabbing random things. Sharpies. You name it. Bibles. 
torch lighters, Bic and other off-brand Matco fake ones, batteries, Duracells, notepads with paper, all that stuff. There's a company in China faking every single one of those and trying its best to legitimately import items that are counterfeit to be placed into the normal stream. See, we don't we don't get told where everything's made. So a lot of these things that do are made in other places and come to this country from other places. That's where the counterfeit counterfeiting is uh, is being is happening before it even comes to our markets. The counterfeiting is happening and it's really hard to stop. Um, that aside, there is also people like you know like the trash malls and stuff like that doing counterfeits, all kinds, various. Now there's certain industries that are like really well controlled. Um, you know, like pharmaceuticals, cosmetics, um, a lot of the food, a lot of the food, but not all of it. You know, like there's a lot of stuff going on with like honey and other sugars and things like that. But where there's, you know, counterfeit, sh counterfeit sugars, you know, but that being said, those are a lot harder to get into to, to, to get the counterfeit products in there. But stuff like, um, stuff like Bose stereos and all kinds of crazy stuff. And what happens is the counterfeiting, there's a lot of different people that can be involved. Even people, the counterfeit process can be happening here. The truck drivers, the delivery drivers, they get, they bring the fake product on by stopping somewhere or something. Um, and bring the fake product on and, and discharge the good product and then later that good product is sent off you know iPhones sent off back off to China and then the bullshit ones are you know there's the scams against we're doing returns and all kinds of stuff if we lived in a world where everyone uh, acted as, the, as they should it would be a different place and the truth is people just don't do that but just don't. There's a lot of little subject uh, nuances and subjects I wanted to talk about today, but um, there's a really uh, interesting thing going on in the world of. Uh, let me go check out what artists we're on. Cat boy, man, we just kept flying through artists. We did Shine Natsumi. We did Nihilist writing on the wall and then now we are at the secrets of mariana by cat boy so the blog is going to keep going topic after topic i'm going to just keep chatting so but you can go find uh shine natsumi at shine r-i-n you can find nihilist at nihilist music and you can find Ketboy at K-E-T-T-B-O-Y. After this is A Silent Crossing by Ice Pen. And then No Holds Bar by Jordy Fonz. Yeah, so I was telling you guys a little bit about the calipers. Calipers are used like crazy in uh, manufacturing and machining and other uh, precision jobs. Uh, I got these for Christmas this year. Pretty happy about getting uh, this pair. I have one. I have a spare battery here um, because the battery is obviously going out already. Glad I have that. But um, you know, it 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 measures in millimeters. It measures in inches, and it measures in fractions, inch fractions. So it'll tell you the fractions, the closest fraction. So that's cool if you're trying to measure a hole. And uh, and it has the ability to measure a hole um, really well. Let me show you an example of how it can measure a hole, actually, since I didn't do that. And I can show you that. That's a pretty cool, cool trick to do. Um, here we go. We have this here. And we have these. See how these 
See how when you're spreading these apart, you would be able to use these to tell the outside here, right? But then telling the inside of you, you're like, you're like looking. Well, you have these. And these are set up to be at zero when these are at zero, the way they're built. So you hit it and you zero it out. Then you can go down here like this and you keep expanding them until you get to a spot where, oops, about to open the battery. Get to a spot where you can't get any wider and your number's the highest, 48.8 millimeters. So it's a that's for a 48 millimeter lens, common lens, or a 50 millimeter lens. I mean, but it's, you know, pretty cool. Here, what's the what's the lens width? Lens width is, yeah, 52, so it's probably a 50. Maybe it's 48 and 52 are the two measurements I got for the width of the, the outer width of the case and the inner width, the width here of the ring that was holding it. So I was actually a couple millimeters in. So that, yeah, so the actual diameter width of this thing and the inside side is 51.07. So you get super detailed measurements down to the Oh, oh, oh. And if you were to look that, like for instance, if you were to take that, take that same measurement, you're like, oh no, that's not supposed to be in in um, millimeters. It's supposed to be in inches. Oh, oops. And then you can even use it as a converter. You can find the millimeters. Oh, I can get, get to two millimeters or ten millimeters. Oh, ten millimeters. How many is that in a fraction of an inch? We get exactly there. And then I hit the button twice. And I get a fraction of an inch. That's 5,128, right? Crazy, right? You wouldn't think it would get you that. Let me get there exactly. See, if 10 exactly is yeah, 25 64ths if you're lucky. So yeah, it gets it gets crazy detailed fractions. 128ths. How many 128ths? What the hell? I mean, it ain't micron measurements, but high detail, high resolution measurements right there. Calipers, you can get them for about 10 bucks, 20 bucks, depending. Great investment for anybody who's uh, in the shop, working on stuff in the shop. Jordy Fawn's always killing it. Same with Iceman. Silent Crossing. Holds bar. Nice harmonies, man. Oh, yeah. I love the low, the low stuff. Tech Nines Technicians in a Cipher. Guitar work. Jason McKinley Chastain. In Nuclear Nation. You can find him at J. Chastain underscore INC underscore. I'm a 
was all dope. Then I met a one that gave me a slide. Remember every cue. When you stop, you can pop every single pull. Bam, bam, to a nigga that's bigger than you. And he can, he can come speaking of really cool. Woo! I'm not the stepping after rubble. Fuck a level head. Never did it well, but you're singing that song on your head. Lead off, or read the beat up and go. Well, a nigga beat off, or two of my pieces beat off. Shitting on niggas and leave the seat off. The ring put off social media. This is beat off, too. Damn, the thing we lost. Cause when we get off, then look at the sales that we all put. Cause it's both the break that we won't end. Me and Nina keeping them jumping. And we won't stop till we get to the top. You were the way that we meant was chopping. Yeah, this is the right. This cool, I just lose the cruise by the book of a tummy. I'm gonna lose the dude's right. I'm gonna lose the kid. I would go on stage and just do this. Are you allowed to like, is there any places in this world where you're allowed to like go on stage and do performances and fire off fucking guns? Because that's what I'm talking about. I want to do a show where you just, you go and you play guitar and then in between every uh, song you just like fire fucking guns in the air. <laughs> okay, maybe it targets behind the band. You fire away, away from the crowd. And then back to the show. <laughs> you know what I mean. If Dimebag Daryl was doing shows like that, and then he puts that gun right next to him, uh, maybe he'd still be around right now. Maybe, maybe everybody, maybe everybody in metal, because of Dimebag Daryl, should now have a gun at the show and fire it into the air every show. <laughs> it's so dumb. It's the dumbest idea, Chris. It's fucking stupid. So fun sounding though. I mean, you're at a club. Da, 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 da. Somebody lives upstairs. Oh, oops. <laughs> no, that's crazy talk, Chris. You're talking gun violence. You're talking gun violence, Chris. No, I'm not. I'm just talking about firing a weapon off into the air or at targets at a show. Fuck, just shooting a gun with blanks. Just the, the sound of it. You know, every guy in the band in the middle after the song's over goes. <laughs> Fuck. Has there, been, has there been any bands that like paintball the crowd? <laughs> Welcome to the show. We don't like your boring black clothes. Pink and white paintballs. <laughs> Half an hour later, uh, that looks right. Now we can start. Everyone's like covered in it. Oh, like this pink, white, frothy. They look like like Pepto Bismol. <laughs> or you get black paintballs, <laughs> black ink. Paint them all black. <laughs> Nobody wears colors to our show. <laughs> Paintballs. And I know they have had a lot, a lot of fun things like, you know, like fish had these giant balls thrown up in the air that you, you bounce them around. Everybody plays like volleyball with these giant rubber balls and. And like, like basically giant balloons and just fun stuff like that. And I've seen all kinds of crazy stuff going on at shows, but you know, next level guys. How about during the show, a blacksmith is making a sword. And at the end of the show, you give the sword away to some someone on the, at the show. Or a fucking double-sided ax. You just, you have some guy fucking make some fucking, a blacksmith, like, make, like, a fucking shit on stage. Chink, chink, chink the whole time. He just, he just, like, hammers to the rhythm. When the, oh, that's a faster song, so he's like, chink, chink. And then the, you know, the mid-paced song is like, chink, chink, chink. You know, right there, just, like, holding the beat. Chink, 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 chink. Next thing you know, he's... Fucking sword. He's wielding the sword. He's fucking, fucking guy oiled and fucking leathers comes out fucking looking like He Man or the Barbarian. Fucking Conan. Fucking shows this blade. Hands it to fucking lucky, some lucky fan every show. That's crazy talk. Alright, that's ready to let go. 
acoustic cover by Johnson. You can go find Johnson at She Smoked My Pork. Bandlab.com backslash She Smoked My Pork. Damn. This blog is getting crazy. So many different artists. All right, this track is Drop Zone. It's by Macrotonic. And you find him at Bandlab backslash Macrotonic. Simple as that. At a Glasgow, United Kingdom. Cool. reading some emails enjoying this tune I'm allowed to do that it's the blog when this premieres I'll be chatting with you guys enjoying you guys and the company hopefully uh, we get some people on today <coughs> random topics today I've brought on some random topics starting to go to work you guys I'm gonna be going to work on uh, next Friday So uh, the amount of music is going to change. The length of the blog is probably going to get short, at least for a, a good while. I don't know if that means 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. <coughs> but the idea is probably going to be that I will feature a, a single artist per show. And just kind of, it's just what's what's happening. It's how it's going down, the way it is. Yes, drop zone track is pretty cool. This is a very listenable um, album. It's very enjoyable. It's just everything about, my mom is just chatting to me about everything about my start date and my wife and my mom are chatting about it. Um, <sighs> yeah, something happened where, um, it's weird because, uh, excuse me, I got a notification, I was using PayPal to pay for something because my car was on PayPal and I didn't have my card and I couldn't remember my card. I didn't have it in my pocket and I couldn't want to like try and memorize and go like try and do it off memory but but to repunch it in for something on iTunes and I just used I connected my PayPal and then I used that card well uh, they said my card was um, it had expired because that was the old version of my card even though it's the same number it has different dates and different security code 
um, you know, expiration date. So this one expired. So I was like, perfect. I didn't want to buy Hulu again. And I have until the 8th to make sure I get my iCloud paid for again. I'll just wait a couple days and fix it on Friday or this, this Friday, right? Uh, well, it just took the money out of my bank. Because PayPal's stuck this in my bank. So, no more paying through PayPal for that reason. Because when I want to stop paying for something, it just forces it through my bank. And that was a negative, whatever the amount was, the two nine ninety nine charges, negative on my account. So I had to borrow from my mom to fix that. It actually, I think it was a fifteen and a and a and, and a ten. It was. It sucked because it put me negative, and they charged me a dollar, a dollar overdraft fee. At least it's not that big thirty something dollar overdraft fee. 32, 37, a lot of people have that. That sucks. Sorry for you guys. But uh, I have items that will need to be completed. Uh, they don't come until tomorrow, or uh, or sometimes they don't come until even Monday the next day, but I would complete those the, the week of my work week, and uh, that week of my work week, I also had to go in and get my badge photo taken, so, they have, so I have a badge. Uh, and then at 6.30 in the morning on my first day, I go in at, as early as I can, so I'll go in there and get my badge, and then I'll wait and just chill in the parking lot until my start time around 8, so I'll 7.45, 7.50, I'll try and creep on in there, and uh, then my start time for orientation is 8 on Friday next week. Then uh, the next week after that, I have training in Everett. The orientation is going to definitely tell me where I'm going to be next and how many days it is, and I'll be in Everett the next week. I'll have a weekend to sort through where I'm going to be next, and I'll be in Everett next week, either two, three, four, five days uh, for training for that position I've been put into. And then uh, I will go down to the Renton location. Tons of planes come out of it, and uh, hopefully I fit in like a, a uh, fit in there like a brick and a brick and mortar house. And, uh, yeah, hopefully it's just a place for me, and I enjoy the hell out of it. Um, I heard it's just a place where super, people are super nice, and the work environment is positive, so that's what I've been looking forward to. Hopefully this is a dream come true for me, and I don't ruin it like I always ruin shit. Alright, Live Free by Kirk. Kirk can be found at Kirk598. Whoa, well, I was going to say there was only one more track left, and uh, randomly the uh, alarm for my kid coming on the bus came on my phone and stopped the recording. So hopefully we get the last three minutes in here, and then I can actually go pick my kid up when his real bus gets here, which is in like six minutes from now, five minutes from now. So this is the last three minutes of the blog. The last artist you were listening to was Kirk. 598 The track was Live Free We missed the last few seconds of it I apologize for that glitch Yeah, this is Sassy Kitty by Izaki Izaki can be found out I-Z-A-K-I underscore dreadful I Z A K I underscore dreadful. Hell yeah. Be right back. One sec. You guys might not be able to tell, but I can tell if the bus goes by and is waiting from where I am, amazingly enough. But that doesn't matter because I also just saw my wife get home. So 
I will take a moment to let you guys all know that I'm glad you guys came to check out the blog. I appreciate you all. I've been having a really nice December. Hope you guys are having a nice December. Hope the Christmas spirit's starting to creep in right on in here. Yeah, you guys. It's awesome. Excited for my new job. Excited for all these little changes that are coming. Excited for next year, 2020. Everybody go check out the artists I featured today. I featured a ton of them. That is Idiot Blog 285. We are music. Later, guys. See you around.